Hey, welcome back. So before we get to the firewall video um, in depth in that, I want to do a quick walkthrough of the Unify video software. If you scroll back through my videos, you'll see a three-part series that talks about downloading Ubuntu server, installing it, and then installing the Unify software. But real quick, I just want to do a quick tour of the interface so you can kind of see what that's all about. And then the next set of videos will be the deep dive on the firewall rules. And one more thing I want to say, uh, as of the, the filming of this video, we're at over 700 subscribers. That's awesome. Um, you guys are awesome. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And so here it is. So let's hop into the NVR. And the first screen that comes up is your camera screen. And on the camera screen, if you have cameras adopted, you will see the name, whatever you called it. You'll see the IP address, the MAC address, the last recording, the link state. And then if the camera is hooked up, you can go to the live feed. From the live feed, you can then make adjustments. Then you can also, uh, if you have unmanaged cameras, they will show up under the unmanaged tab. Uh, you can see it has our name, you know, who we're logged in as. We can change our account settings. And then down here is the version of the NVR. So you can see that I am at version 3.2.2. The next selection in your menu is the map. And if you're familiar with the Unify software for uh, access or for the wireless, and the USG and the switch. Um, this is kind of the same thing where we can upload a map and then we can drop the cameras on and they do have, after you've dropped a camera on, what will happen is, so it's showing gray because it's offline, but then the, the color of this will change depending on the state of, of the camera. So same, same map, map functions. Um, we can add a new map, and so you can um, do a Google map, or you can upload an image. You can edit the map. You can delete it. <clears throat> so, get in the software and play with that. Your next option is Live View. So we've only got one camera, but what we can do is we can um, edit this view and we can change it and say how many cameras do we want in this view. Then we can uh, delete the view, revert it, or save it. So we could say this is going to be a four camera. And then if we edit this again, what you, this is where you, um, you select which camera that you want in this pane. Looks like there's some advanced options there. I haven't really played with that. So uh, if we revert, uh, you'll see it goes back to just the, the four. You can do a, a full screen mode with this. And then you have uh, timeline recording, <clears throat> excuse me, recording. So you can line up your recordings in a timeline view. You can select the date, the speed. And let's see, that takes a screenshot. This is the camera selection. And then of course your timeline. If we go to recordings, on the recording screen, the, the default that's gonna come up is it will show you all the recordings from the last day. And I don't have any recordings in this particular NVR, but if we did, you'd see a thumbnail over here then the camera would have the camera name the type of recording date time length and then whether it's locked so then you can come over here you can choose the last week just by clicking that the last month or you can do a custom time we could go all the way back to the beginning of the year you can um, view recordings by all cameras or you can select certain cameras you can also filter by motion recordings or full-time recordings and then you can 
filter by locked or unlocked recordings. So just to recap that, if a video is locked, it cannot be deleted. If it is unlocked, it can be deleted. So that covers this section of the menu. Now we're going to go down to alerts. And any alerts that you have will show up here. So you can see Friday, July 1st, 8.46 p.m. Unify Video Update 3.3.0 is available. That was the last alert. And I can you can delete the alerts. And this will tell you, you know, if cameras, you know, want to be managed, if they're available for management. Obviously, we're getting the software update notifications. Then we can come down here to users. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we can add a user. We can do full name, email address, we can create a group. So if you have multiple cameras, what you can do is you can allow this group to receive alert notifications via email. Uh, but then all of your cameras will also be listed here. And you can select whether they can view, edit, view recordings, or edit recordings. And then you can give the group a name and click save, and then that person will be added to the group and then the group would show up here where you could add other users to that group. You can select the, the uh, language and then the local access is on so this would be the username and password to log into the local NVR. The Unify NVR does have an API so if you want to set up an account that just has API access because you have some other piece of software that's going to be querying this or using the API, you can select that here. Once you're done with your user, you click Save. The user will now be active. We're going to go down here to Settings. And here you can see the name of the NVR, the IP address. It says it's up to date with uh, currently installed 3.2.2. Um, we can join this to a Unify Video Cloud. Now, uh, if you've listened to some of my, of my other videos, you know I'm not a huge proponent of the cloud. I believe it has its place, but this does not store any of your video in the cloud. This is all used for sign-ons and managing the NVRs. So you can change the uh, any managed cam cameras would be updated to use this password if you change the password right here. So you can change the camera password. This is where we select our time zone. Alerts right here. Enable connection alert email. So if a camera goes offline because it lost connection, you can get an email. Enable motion alert email. So if you have a, a motion, uh, something set to record on motion, you can get an email with that. And then you can configure the alerts. So and you can do it per, per camera. Um, so like camera UVC G, G2, do we want to alert on disconnect? Never. Do we want to alert, alert on motion? Never, always, or set a schedule. Firmware updates. Check Ubiquity for firmware updates is on. And report statistics is on. And then device discovery is on. Now this device discovery does only work in the same layer 2 or the same subnet. So if you're if you're crossing subnets, then you have to join the camera to the NVR the way we did it in one of the last videos. So now what we can do is we can come up here and we can actually go to NVR settings. And this is going to show us a little bit more about our NVR. So once again, though, we have the, the IP address, we've got the MAC address, the version. The model name, this is NA because I am not using actual Ubiquity hardware. Over here, you can see we're using 1% CPU, we're using 1.7 gigabytes out of 8 gigabytes of memory, and we're using 40.4 uh, out of 460.6 gigabytes. There's a nice little picture of the NVR, that's not what we're using. Uh, so here's the alias for the NVR. Recording path can be changed, so if you've got a different place that you want to record video, such as uh, external storage, you can change this. You can turn on time-based purging. So how many days of video do you want to ret uh, retain? You can set a number here and then select hours, days, or weeks. 
and then you can also specify how much hard drive space to keep free on the NVR. Under Tools, you can do a database synchronization. We come over here to Updates. So we can tell it to check for updates, but you can see that this compatible update, this version 3.3.0 has been found. So we could install that, and if it's got new firmware, it will also upgrade the firmware on the cameras. Stats, this is going to show us our, um, here's the time and hours. It'll show us our CPU percentage utilization over this time. The same goes for memory and network and disk. Then we can come over to the log files. This is the error log. So you can delete the log, download it, refresh. There's the uh, purge log. So you can see where I, I've deleted some recordings. Then here's the recording log and the connection log. The next option up here on the top is to get the support file. So if you're ever working with support or somebody and you're and they ask you to get the support file, that's what they're talking about. And then you can also download the configuration. So now we have a backup of the whole config of the NVR. So that's just kind of a high level overview of the NVR. I suggest you get your hands on the software or the appliance and actually play with it. Beat it up, see if you like it, learn how to use it. Uh, I prefer this over some of the other software packages that are out there. I do use um, a Blue Iris server uh, in a place where I don't have Ubiquiti cameras, but I am trying to convince them to go to Ubiquiti cameras so I can get rid of Blue Iris. So Blue Iris runs on Windows, and it's just like any other software. It has its own problems. So if you've got any questions, please post them below in the comments. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up, comment, share, and we will see you back at the firewall videos.